Yeah, yeah Bardo, so... Oh, so you're living... So where do you stay? Like, are you... Oh, so, um... I stay in a, a community home. I look after a community home. My family runs a foundation called Grace. Grace Foundation. It's uh, an all uh, volunteers. So we've got 20, uh, 20 homes. So we look after... Um, Homeless people, mentally ill, people just out of prison, that people that have fallen through the cracks in society, and a lot of other organisations won't take them. You know, so if it wasn't for us, they'd just be, you know, just on the street. Um, so yeah, we, we run those homes. Thank you. We run those homes, and I look after one of them. So I look after three guys, and um, and uh, I live out in the back of that house, in like a one. It's just a room really with a TV and a shower and a big, very hard. People are not humble. You try having everything and then losing it all. You know, living in a mansion now. You're living in a, a room with a TV and a shower and, in, and a bed. But it's good, you know. You're giving back. My family are giving back now through this foundation, and everyone uh, that's in it as well. You know, everyone's a volunteer. No one gets paid. Um, even the house parents that look after look after the homes. No one gets paid. It's all on volunteer basis. We are, we. Uh, we take them to, we, they do like horses through us, you know, teaching them how, trying to reintroduce them into society, you know what I mean, and, and learning how to problem solve. A lot of times when you've been in jail all your life, you're institutionalised, you know. So that's why they keep going back to jail. They don't know any better, they don't know how to um, solve real world problems without the violence or, you know, just turn into booze, you know, drugs. Yeah, so that's what, I, I stay in one of those homes. So what do you do? You, you, you sort of give them guidance? Or? Yeah, well, we give them guidance and, um, you know, and um, so there's a, we take them, there's, we, we do like a classes Monday to Thursday and we try and introduce God into their lives as well. We don't preach a denomination of a religion, you know, like you should be Catholic or you should be Seventh-day Adventist or whatever it is. You know, we're all Seventh-day Adventists, but we don't, we just preach God. I mean, trying to give these people hope for God. A lot of them are ex-gang members too. You know, my father was an ex-leader of the Mongol mob, and my soul of my uncle was in the Mongol mob, and um, for years and years and years, you know, spent all their lives in jail. A lot of the time, reasons these people join gangs is a sense of belonging. You know what I mean? To, 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 um, to belong to something, they don't have family, that their gang becomes their family. And so that's what we try and offer. Grace Foundation try and offer that family something to belong to something to get up to and go to, you know, and so, yeah, my all my family's involved in that now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's... It's pretty deep, like yeah. a lot of problems, you know, they've got a lot, a lot of issues, a lot of issues out there in our society, so we're just doing our bit. It doesn't get un uncomfortable at all, staying with, you know... No, man, like, I stay with, um, yeah, I stay with some guys that have done some bad things, but they're all good guys and, you know, big down. People, and, you know, these guys got brought up really tough, you know, similar to us, and sometimes cases worse than what we got brought up. You know, so really bad, like no parents, you know, you know, you know child, children of the state, you know, molested, abused, uh, you name it. So it's, when you're coming up through that, it's, it's, it's easy to imagine and to uh, constantly, you know, you understand why they turned out the way they did. Yeah, yeah. And so we're just trying to turn back, back, just change it. For the better. This is something people don't know about you, right? I mean, no. Nah. Yeah, it's, nah, it's, yeah. That's I'm, I really want to try and help push Grace Foundations as, as my um, popularity grows. You know, I want to try and push that Grace Foundation to, to get out there. And my dad was just on Mike King's radio show last Sunday, and you know that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't you know through this boxing thing. And, you know, Mike King introduced me. He, he loved that story, and he um, he had he used to hang around with a lot of the same people that Dad did back in the day so um, it was good you know so reunited them and he introduced us some connected people and, and hopefully get funding and all that sort of stuff so we're not government funded which is ridiculous considering the jails and all these government agencies send us people but then won't fund us you know what i mean mm. yeah they fund us what's uh, a, is a there's a page out there is there yeah on facebook grace grace foundation, grace foundation. My battery's about to die, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good, I got it. Thanks for your time, Butterbeans. Yeah.